Almost with the opening of the first land run, plans were made to create institutions of higher learning in Oklahoma Territory. By 1892, however, there was still no higher education option for the African American community. State law prohibited blacks and whites from attending the same school facilities. Therefore, in order to comply with the very laws they created, it would be necessary for the state legislature to provide funds to build a completely separate facility for those black citizens wanting to continue their education past high school. It was in this week of 1896 that the state legislature, at the request of influential blacks within the state, approved the necessary funding for the construction of a black institution of higher learning at Langston, Oklahoma Territory. However, stated the legislature, the land would have to be paid for by the citizens. For one year, the residents of Langston and surrounding communities held bake sales, pie suppers, auctions, and other events, with all of the proceeds going towards the purchase of land for their new college. By 1898, the land was purchased and construction began. Prior to the actual structure, classes for the new school were held in a Presbyterian church. According to documents provided by the school, the purpose of the institution was to instruct male and female colored persons in the art of teaching common and higher education in the agricultural, mechanical, and industrial arts. The first president of the institution, Dr. Inman Page, the son of a former slave, expanded the original 80 acres into 160 acres, and the school continues to grow and thrive today. In 1941, the name was officially changed to Langston University. Both the town and the school derive their name from Virginian John Mercer Langston, a black proponent of higher education active during the late 19th century.